What is up, good people of TNL? What's happening, oh. my good seventies friends? Tell I hope me. everybody, every single buddy out there, all you good people, <laughs> are having yourself one heck of a night. Oh yeah, because we know. better be, because we are in the studio, folks. It's not very big, and it's not hot in here, <laughs> and it's shaped like a box. <laughs> <laughs> Can't breathe. Yeah, a little overheated. Most exciting thing happens is when this <clears throat> this thing turns red again, and I can I can pump on it. Just keep filling it up. Keep filling. Do you it guys up. remember there was an episode where we came in with smoke, <laughs> fog, and no yeah. sound? Well, today it's a little different oh. because we're coming to you live from the TNL studio. And this, my friends, if you haven't guessed it. 70s night 70s night oh, what do we do here <laughs> on Thursday Night Live we tie some flies what else rhymes with flies Tim <laughs> it looks like what's happening in this room <laughs> gonna let that one slide I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna raise my beer high yeah, high <laughs> well, flies and high what are you drinking there over there tonight I don't know but why, why did my music end I don't know I don't know. You're, we're not. We're not getting into this again. Don't start that again. Well, folks, I'm Dana Lattery, and that's Timothy Hepworth. What's up, everybody? We come to you from the studio every Thursday. We sometimes we. Prize. Sometimes we look this good. Not always. We don't always try to look this good, but when we do, 
It's on Thursdays, and it's for you guys. So, anyways, welcome, welcome. I won't talk like this the whole show, just ninety nine percent of it. <laughs> but when I get to tracks <laughs> later, shout out to all our good peeps at oh, tracks, yeah. all the beautiful people sitting down at tracks pub. Yeah, yeah. They are there enjoying the TNL fam, and you guys know something. You can win prizes tonight, a really cool prize, if you dressed up in the 70s. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Jim, There's an advantage to I it. I forgot to ask you a question. Ask away. Is Jim Crawford exempt from winning tonight? Because it's probably <laughs> just his every night attire. Yes, we did decide he couldn't win. Jim's, Jim's out. Jim, yeah, you're out. out. Yep. Jim his, uh, out. his waist-high Wranglers. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Yeah, just imagine that. A lot of wedges in the 70s, I'm sure. <laughs> a lot of wedges in the 70s. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah LFG, yeah. full trucker effect. <laughs> so that's what we do here, folks. We're going to tie two patterns tonight. We're going to tie the Ginny Midge, and then we're going to absolutely destroy a fly. Wow. Okay, we apologize in advance. That's why we did the 70s show, because we thought <laughs> we got to make, up it, up, make it up to you guys. For how bad that fly's gonna For be. For that, how bad. <laughs> yeah. But oh, there's yes. always lessons to be learned. Yes. In big mistakes. Oh, my tonight. wife. My wife's in the house tonight. I was. I was telling her today. You don't watch Look enough. Yes, I'm getting. It's sorry, not good. Sorry, Tim. It's on. It's She's, on. Look at it, guys. It's coming through my lap. Oh, oh yeah. You got to point it right at your crotch. If, I do. And if I, <laughs> literally, that's I gotta fill right up. <laughs> if I gotta fill up that. Five times today, I will. This studio is not going to ever look more clear than this <laughs> tonight. <laughs> uh, good gracious. Ugh. So, yeah, anyways, we got some more gingerbread lager from our friends yeah. at Bowerver Brewing. And my camera, my camera loves me so much, it will not take focus off of me. It'll take it off of Tim, but not off of me. But. Yeah, we'll just have fun here tonight. If you guys stumbled upon the show randomly because it showed up in your Facebook feed, that's not an accident. I'm telling you what, you've come upon one of the greatest, coolest groups of people. It's nothing to do with me and Tim, <laughs> but the people, the people who are in the comments, what we call the TNL fam. Cheech and Chong, <laughs> Jacques knows this <laughs> all too well. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Uh, the coolest group of people here tonight, and they come here every single Thursday and hang out. And we just tie some flies. We have some fun. I hope Mr. Riley, he's oh, in the house. He's, I, he's lived through right? this. Yeah. Come on, okay. <laughs> Mr. I, Riley, go find a photo of yourself yeah. in the 70s, please, and send it to me. Did you still have hair that looked this good? So apparently our wives are complaining about us using their clothes. <laughs> Well, the irony, the irony of it is that we just that's had to go fact. to their uh, closets to that's find our costumes. Point. Not the not the hair. I that's actually my hair. Yeah, and I grew this too. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your chest. <laughs> <laughs> this is my choker too. Oh, I, wore, yeah. I wore this a lot in high school. Bob Ross and Bob Ross make an art reference. We will make art reference all night. We will paint some happy little trees. <laughs> what we're gonna try to do with that streamer later, folks, is if you guys. If you guys have anything out there that can alter your state of mind, I highly suggest <laughs> jumping on it because that's going to make that fly oh so fine. Uh, it's going to make it better oh, for sure. Mr. Riley, you got to have some. Oh, you got to be dressed up. He was a baby in the 70s. I know. I was there for two months. Mm. This is what I wore. I had a full head of hair and I wore something like this. <laughs> I don't know why we weren't headbands. Like we exercise in the set. Did they exercise a lot in the 70s? I think they what? thought they did. Sex, drugs, and fly tying. Those were the uh, times, apparently. Jock lived it in the best the best of times. <laughs> what could be better than sex, drugs, and fly tying? I mean, I, I mean oh, beer and fly tying? Maybe. Uh, all right. <coughs> Don't press that button again. It, is, it turned red, but do not push it again. Gee, you shouldn't have told me it turned red. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go again. Oh, yeah. There it is, folks. Anyways, uh, that stuff. Gross. <coughs> that's great. So... That's new, when jogging was invented. That's true. Yogging. The 70s. Yogging. Yeah. That's a good point. I jogged back in the 70s, too. I was a month and a half, but I jogged. So, anyways, Claude is here. 70s was high school for me. Would rather not, or no, would rather forget those years. Oh, really? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to pop over to Tim. Tim's yeah. going to tell you guys what exactly this crazy show is that you stumbled upon. <laughs> and then we're going to come back. And we're going to get to know you guys a little bit better. 
and then we're going to tie the Ginny Midge first, and that fly takes 13 seconds. <laughs> if yeah, you true. haven't got your bingo card, the link has been scrolling across the screen. But tonight, folks, because I feel like it, bingo's not going to be what it's always been. Oof. You're changing there, things up on us? There, there's a trick at the end. Oh. And although you win bingo, you may not win bingo. So, uh -oh. hey, if you're not up for a little bit of heartbreak, because, I mean, the 70s was full of heartbreak, so I'm told. I thought it was peace and love and That was the 60s. War. 70s uh. was heartbreak. I know. Uh. Apparently, I, I can't say I know I wasn't around for I, any of that. I know. Okay, I was there. <laughs> I was there for a month. And, uh, well, it's better. And I'm actually not going to tell you guys, but I'm going to tell you that there is a twist at the end. Oof. And if you don't want to play, that's fine, too. But if you do want to play, the website is scrolling across the bottom of the screen. <laughs> oh, John's already curious. Download your bingo It's card. not four corners. You just wait, John. It's New worse cards. than that. No, same cards. All cards. I'm going to keep extending these cards for the rest of the year. Uh, I worked out a little bit of a deal with the bingo card people, and I said, hey, why do I got to get new cards every week or every three weeks? Let's just try to keep these ones rolling all the way to the end. So Tim's yeah, going to yeah, tell yeah. you guys <laughs> a little bit more about in-depth Thursday Night Live fly tying. Yeah, so let's talk about Thursday Night Live. What is it? Where did it start? Where is it coming from? Well, this is season four, um, but this is technically actually the fifth season that it has run. We just kind of been together for the last four. Uh, what is it? We come together uh, once a week and we tie a couple flies. There's a ton of BS, as you can tell. Um, really, this is meant to be an interactive show where you get to come into the comments. You meet lots of people virtually. Um, through all things pandemic and whatnot, this has been a real great way of getting to know more people and reaching out and just creating a safe, happy place for a community to exist. Um, yeah, it started in a little different way in that we were in person in a brewery, although we did still stream it. Um, but now we're full time in the studio and it's kind of created, uh, well, as you can see, Dana makes what he does over there crazy amazing. And all the things you're going to see tonight, even in just the, the 70s version of it, um, that stuff's all attainable because we are in the studio, um, but we're able to share this with everybody in the world, basically. Um, people from all over the place get to tune in, get to share together. Um, my encouragement for you guys tonight is that you uh, comment get into the get into the groove of what this is and that what that really is is interaction okay so if you reach out to anybody in this group I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt whether it's something you need or a question if we can't answer it the group will answer it um, <clears throat> we do tie a couple flies and tonight that's gonna be a couple interesting ones and as we go through them we have different things we do so we're gonna you're gonna see lots of themes um, happen throughout the show just ride along with the ride um, biggest thing for you guys though is give us an SOS in the comments if you go SOS that just tells us that you need us to stop for a second you maybe need to ask a question you maybe what need happens to catch up. when you hit SOS well let's find out we, we got our flashing lights the SOS <laughs> important use it it is important and it's if they don't want to use it what else can they do with the quick ties well, the, the cool thing about that um, that we've integrated this year is we are doing what's called quick ties. So some of you guys, maybe you don't want to be here for the show. You don't want to, you don't really buy into that that portion of it. And that's okay. We understand that there's, uh, everything's different for everybody. But what is a quick tie? Well, um, at the end of the show tonight at 930, I believe, the quick ties are going to go live. And what that is, is I've already tied these flies. We've recorded it um, in full pace without any interactions between me and Dana, as you'll see later, kind of as we go along. He spends most of the time making fun of me. I'm the best. Um, but yeah, these are just a streamline. Like you would go to YouTube and watch anybody else tie a fly. Very similar to that. Um, but the cool thing about Thursday Night Live is for the last two seasons, we've done kits. So kits that look like... This year, this is what they look like, okay? So in this kit, what this gets you is, it gets you all 20 episodes. Um, it gets you two patterns per, per night. And so like, for instance, tonight, we're gonna be tying out of uh, episode seven. And so you get a bag that looks like this, okay? And in there, you got enough, uh, you got both patterns. You actually get them tied for you already, which is pretty cool. So no matter what you do with your flies, you're actually gonna have a couple of flies to fish. Um, and then you also have enough to tie it one to two times more, um, depending on how much material you use in your first one. And um, yeah, that's been something that's been super great because even if you didn't want to tune in for the show, if you have a kit like this, you can go back and watch all the quick ties and you can tie along and, and try some new patterns and some, you know, just maybe take yourself out of your comfort zone a bit. So in a long roundabout way, that is what Thursday Night Live is. But really what it's about is the community. So I encourage you to buy into that um, and have a good time. Comment lots. Let us know you're here. Yeah. Um, we know there's lots of people in the background that don't comment a lot. But if you do, we know you're here and, it, and we can uh, we can engage with you. And that's that's what makes it fun. So having said that, it's yeah. all about fun. 
Okay, sometimes we get carried away, but that's all right too. Which is why we do the quick ties, because if you just want to tie the fly, you can do that tomorrow once your hangover <laughs> subsides. But remember, this is where the fun happens because we give away prizes. Yeah, we do. Lots of prizes. And even like flex. If I flex, Janine's going to kill me because this is going to like boom. But you guys, we do these costume nights every once in a while. And if you join in with us and have some fun, dress up at your tying station, send us a <laughs> photo to TNL. It's the only way to win. TNL at flyfishingbowriver.com. I will get them here while Tim's tying. I will check in with them. I've already seen some show up, but we're going to choose a winner for uh, for the best dressed 70s costume, and we can't win again. We never won, <laughs> but Adrian can't win. Uh, so, yeah, and that's just, we did, like, it's just fun. We got a lot of really cool sponsors that help make the show happen. They give us so much stuff to give away to you guys, which is what's yeah. going to happen in the bingo. And I'm going to show you guys what we're giving away in this night's bingo once we say thanks to our awesome sponsors. And we'll be right back. Don't you think you deserve a pair of scissors that can make the cut? Oh, was a different scene. Woo. Different scene for you different guys. Yeah, I like so that. we're going to talk about what is in the bingo giveaways. Yeah, we should do that. So we do have a few different things. Um, as always from our shore sponsor, uh, Shore Fly Fishing, we have that little kit. Uh, easily $100, 100, yeah, $100 material, worth like. of tying materials. Every week's a little different. It has a variety of stuff. Um, we're going to do a giveaway of one of our sponsors, Watermaster's Hat. Okay, so you're going to get that hat in there as well. We're doing from another one from Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. We're doing a fish pond dry bag giveaway. So this is a fairly large bag, which is awesome if you're on a boat um, or any other time. Great, great little, great little giveaway there. Um, we do have a couple other. Do you want to show the other ones that are coming for costume or what? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All these stickers from Fish Pond, our friends at Fish Pond and Watermaster, they're also going to go in. With the bingo. But guys, remember tonight, girls, guys, they, thems, whatever, whatever we have playing the bingo game tonight, there is a twist. And that twist is coming <laughs> after the bingo game. So you might win the bingo and then you might not win at all. Oh, We're just going to see how it flies. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. The choice is yours. Multiple choice is yours. So we're going to try <laughs> something I just designed this week to see if it works. But what do I have in front of me? So these stickers are going to go over here. Oh, man. Sorry. Probably one of the best comments I've seen in a while. So Eli, Andy's son, said, hey, this is Eli. I've been working in the shop while dad's getting drunk, drunk, drunk in the, in the house. house. Well, and that What's happens up, sometimes, folks. Hope There's you're feeling better, buddy. things like that where uh, you got to do what you got to do. But the best dress costume tonight, courtesy Ooh. of Teague's Pawn Shop, our friend Blake Teague, is a... Leatherman rebar. So Oof, this is I super like awesome. So we, we try to keep the costume prizes uh, a little out of the potential fly fishing thing. So just so anybody can play, you know, you guys don't have to tie flies to join in. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to get this Leatherman. You're also going to get this coffee grinder. Why would we have a coffee grinder? That's a great question. Why? Well, because this thing is so cool for making your own dubbing. And I thought, why not get you guys one because yeah. you want to make your own dubbing you want to put your dog's hair in this in coffee grinder or maybe just want a coffee grinder i would recommend it more so for the dubbing aspect so 
But did you say there's more? Of course there's more. Always. But wait. There's more. Wait, there's more. And this is for (laughs) the best dressed costume because we appreciate the people who dressed up. Yeah. And something kind of cool about what he's about to show you is who it's going to fit. That's the cool part. That's the cool part. So this is this is one of our sun shirts. Yeah. Epic. That's my favorite logo we got right there. These are also for sale on our website. These are the coolest shirts, literally, like I get <laughs> cold <laughs> wearing them. But they're sun shirts. We wear them all summer. I wore I we have four different kinds. And I wore all of them all summer and rotated through. And I didn't wear another different sun shirt because I they're just absolutely awesome. But this one's cool, like Tim was saying, because it's extra small. So it's going to fit somebody's little boy or little girl and be really cool with that. So um, bingo, bingo cards, guys, the link's right there. Just fill out your uh, email. If you've already filled out your email, it's already in your email. So... We, we have no control over over that aspect, but... Uh, <laughs> John thinks it's going to fit him. <laughs> uh, John, it actually would. <laughs> Is John pretty small? Would. He's like your size. Oh, yeah. yeah. So curious uh, thing about the extra small. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah. Might fit some of you, John. Yeah. Anyways, that's, that's the stuff for the costume. Yeah, awesome. Because we really want to reward somebody who dresses up and yeah. plays along with us tonight. We also want to give a big shout out to all the peeps at Trax Pub. Yeah. Because a Rocky Mountain Fly Shop, who's local in our area here, is hosting it at Trax Pub. And I think there's a pretty big party there. I don't know for sure. Um, we're looking forward to getting there, though. But we're going to head there straight after, and we're going to hang out with the TNL fam. So we're going to do it. Trax Pub Meetup will be one, the first Thursday of every month. Okay, so I think there'll be three more. So feel free to drive down, drive up, fly in, whatever you got to do <laughs> to hang out with us at Trax Pub. And is there an airport in Olds? That's a good question. There is. It's small. I'd oh. have to fly you in in my Cessna. <laughs> Cessna. Boogie Nights. Where we're drug smugglers. <laughs> it's the 70s. Yeah. yeah, whatever. So, Tim, why don't you tell everybody what they need Yeah. for so uh, the, the, the things the, in their bobbin? The bobbin things. So we're going to tie, uh, first off, like Dana said, we're going to tie the Ginny Midge. So <clears throat> um, thread color isn't super imperative, but um, we're going to tie, I'm going to tie it tonight in a black UTC 70 or something equivalent, be like an 8 aught or a 6 aught in black if you're using um, Danville or something else like that. Um, something a little smaller, you don't want it to be super big and take up lots of space because this is a super tiny hook. As I've seen lots of comments in here being like, Oh man, I had needed a forceps for the bead and the hook. It is small, so so pick an appropriate size thread. Black is nice because it gives a, a little bit of a contour to the mylar we're gonna tie on there. Yeah, that's what we're that's, doing. that's how it goes. So that's how it goes. Without much further ado, we okay. wanna say something to you. I think our disco music changed pace, so I'll fix that. <laughs> you get the folks ready to right. tie some flies. Let's do it. I'm gonna get this out of the way. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Switched over to this mic. So what you see here in the vice, guys, that is our Ginny Midge. Super tiny. Well, this isn't even super tiny. As some people tie stuff down to like size 25, 27. I don't, I don't have eyes good enough to do that. This is a size 18, okay? So what we've provided for you in your kit is a size 18, um, <clears throat> a merger style hook or midge hook, and we're going to use a crystal bead on top of that. So if you go ahead and go into your, uh, your kit, which I'm going to go in here and grab mine. We have this guy here, season four, episode seven. And just so you can see what it actually should look like, this is our Ginny Midge, okay? That's what we're retaining here. So we're gonna use some, like I said, I'm gonna use some black thread UTC, probably for myself, I'm gonna use something smaller. So in a 70, um, like I said, or an eight aught or six aught, if you're tying um, with some uni thread. So let's go ahead, if you open up your kit and you look like this, you're going to see you have one with uh, a lot of material in it and then one that basically looks like a clear bag because there's almost nothing in it. Uh, be really careful when you're opening this up because there simply is very small stuff in there. 
In fact, there is only one material in this fly, and that is some mylar, okay? Outside of that, there is nothing. So be really careful when you open it up, because you got two very small hooks and two very small beads, um, and then just a little bit of mylar. So be careful when you're dumping it out that you don't lose any of that stuff. I'm gonna get mine out of here. Perfect. So there is different ways of, on these tiny hooks, getting your, uh, your hook set on the bead. But they're probably the easiest way. Uh, some people like to use forceps or other things like that. I find it easiest just in my fingers, but that's just me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that set on there. So on this bead in particular, there is no large or small side. So you just need to get it on there the best that you can. Pick a hole, either side is fine. And get that on there once you do. I'm gonna drop this one out of there. And get this next one set up here. Super, super tiny fly. As you know, midges are a great hatch that happen almost year round. You, get, you can get nice winter midge hatches, but they are a small bug. Can at times be frustrating to fish, but can be super effective when nothing else is, okay? So super tiny, but always, always effective, always good to have in your box. Um, kind of one of my little secrets is, especially in mountain fishing, people seem to forget about the midge because they're seeing lots of other bugs around, but you have to put one of these on on a hard day under some type of other dry fly. Super light, won't sink it. It'll be super effective in what you see happen. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my black thread. I'm just gonna start behind the bead. I'm gonna lay down a few thread wraps. And then I'm gonna come in here with my scissors. Told you I'd find it. Oh, you found it. I like it. And I trim that out. <clears throat> I'm gonna go over to my uh, my mylar. So this is just pearl colored mylar. Nothing special about it. We're gonna use this for our underbody, and then we're gonna kind of create that um, that bubble or wing imitation that you that you saw in the previous one we tied. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna tie this in. I'm gonna leave a nice long tag, and, and that's okay because I can show you what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna take a nice wrap over top, make sure it's pinched down, just do a couple wraps. And then once I have it on there, I can pull that material back down like you saw there, make sure it's secured quite well. I'm gonna build up a little bit of base behind that bead uh, with that black thread. And then I'm gonna do just a simple half hitch, get that secured and out of the way, okay? Now the rest of this is pretty much done just with this mylar. So I'm gonna work that mylar back up just behind the bead. And then I'm gonna start wrapping down the fly and now I want to try to get as deep into the bend of this hook as I can so as far down as I can it's gonna be right about there and then I'm gonna double over itself and start working my way back up okay just like that so by doing going over twice it just creates a little bit more bulk and a little bit more um, yeah basically just a bigger profile as you move forward okay so now I'm gonna take this up right behind the bead once I get to right behind the bead, I'm going to make sure I pull that vertical so it's right up standing tall before I tie it off because that's where I want it to stay as I bring my next little piece of the puzzle here, okay? So I'm going to keep that just like that. Looks like it's clearing out over there. Oh, need some more smoke. Need some more smoke in here. I can see my fly. That's a bad thing, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Hold tight. Hold tight. Oh, I'm holding tight. Oh, SOS. From Trax. Uh, SOS from Trax. SOS. What does Trax need? Tell me more. I don't know. We don't know, guys, until you tell us. But SOS, we'll give you, give you a second if you need to catch All up. All right. <clears throat> SOS from Trax. So you guys know where Trax Pub is. It's in Old Alberta, Canada. Yeah. I also have something here that allows me to come into the show. And say, Look at that. Looks like I'm riding on the... On the face here, <laughs> maybe lower that a bit. A little lower. <coughs> oh, Trax Pub. You know they have pizza. I you know do. tonight is their pizza night. I know that too. And uh, I'm not trying to be <laughs> biased, but that pizza, folks. If you're at Trax Pub, okay, cancel the SOS. Cody's not going to recover from this one. LOL. Beads are on the floor. <laughs> the SOS <laughs> is over. So there's right, there's right. a. The pizza. Order the pizza. And I think it's yeah, yeah, two yeah. for one or two for whatever whatever it is. If it was ten for the price of twenty, that's a good deal for their pizza. So 
So that's what you're that's what you're getting me later, pizza. I'll get you pizza. Oh, I'll eat that pizza. <laughs> I'll serve the pizza. <laughs> All right. Please serve Scott, me the pizza. Scott, super as weird, folks. As long as you still have your spaghetti strap tank up. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at that. Just keeps me cool when oh, I'm in the stu stu studio. At least mine is kind of manly. No, no, <laughs> no, none of the above. Well, folks, that's All the right. end of the show. Yeah, and we're gone. It was great. And meeting Cody's you blew up. We blew up, and All we're right. gonna go back to time supplies. <laughs> okay, so quick question though here, Laura um, had a question. Where do we send the '70s photo again? T N L at flyfishingbowriver.com. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where it's going to go, Laura. Okay, so let's do a quick little discussion here on this Mitch for a second. So when Dana... <laughs> <would> Every, you... <laughs> everybody's dropped the beads, the hooks, <laughs> I told and you, watching now. Be careful. It's very small. So, Dana, when is your ideal time to fish a midge? Let's go time of year and um, style of fishing. Okay. Is this a question? Can I come yeah, back come, come on back the screen? Here. I would appreciate it if you did. Everybody knows what's happening here. Let's get back to the uh, duo. Yeah. I like this one. This one's a good one. Got to get some more smoke. <laughs> midges. <laughs> when do I fish midges? Yeah. And uh, what style of fishing? Rarely. But what I will say, I've never fished a Ginny midge. I think in Colorado, they kind of get geeked out about the midges a bit more. But I have done well on midges in the winter on the Bow River. Mm. But I'll tell you what, if you're gonna fish the Bow River, or a lot of a lot of places, my favorite fly is a red lightning bug, which is a midge. Midge, midge can look like little red worms. Yep. So a, a red lightning bug, yeah, about an 18, or a red devil at about a 14 on the bow in September. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think. I don't think I'm like, oh man, I'm fishing midges. I just say that pattern works and it works about this time of the year and I'm going to do it more often. Yeah. But the red lightning bug and the red devil, great patterns. I, I mean, this we're not just tying flies for the Bow River here. We're tying flies for, for all everywhere. rivers. Yeah. So that's the Ginny midge. I love midges. Probably more of a winter. Why would they be more of a winter fishing thing? Because there's less bugs, and so because, like Tim said, the midges are like an all-season kind of hatch, they key out of them, kind of in like the, the warmer months, and then they key into them in the other months. We've seen yeah. some prolific midge cool. hatches in the spring. Like, yeah, like, you can't even imagine. You can't breathe, and... <laughs> yeah. No fish. No yeah, it's an, it's an interesting hatch because you do they they have other options at that point, so they don't have to eat the the, the small midges. Um, but lots of times, if we are fishing, let's say midges as a dry fly, we're fishing um, an imitation that would be like a clump of them. So we're fishing something like a Griffiths gnat, which is trying to represent more of a clump than just one singular midge. Um, for me personally, I don't fish a lot of these on the Bow River, um, like we said, except for in the winter. I prefer to use them in the mountains on a hard day, and they seem to produce quite well. Uh, very good point. Yeah. Okay, so let's get back to this. We're almost done this fly. What I want you to do is I want you to grab that mylar, and if you're pulling it forward and it's flat, let's just take it and do one quick turn. Okay, so it's got one turn in it. Pull that down, and we're going to pull that loop so it's behind the fly. So this is where the loop side is. And this is uh, where the tag end's gonna be. So it looks way too big right now. That's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna grab this here and do a wrap. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab that tag, make sure it's sitting up on top. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the length of that loop. <coughs> so Question. you can see loops way back here. Question yeah. about droppers. Apps yeah, yeah, yeah. all droppers. Yeah, yeah. Droppers looks looks Ryan, bring that up. I'm gonna i I'm gonna favorite that comment. Oh yeah, favorite it. Okay, guys, let's just wrap this up. We're almost done, then we'll get back to the dropper conversation. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on this, uh, the tag end, and that's going to shrink that loop, okay? So you can decide the length of that loop. Um, the original pattern calls for it to be roughly almost, if I were to lay it back, it would almost touch the back bend, but not quite, okay? So I like where that's sitting. That's the perfect size loop for what I want. David Blackman has joined the party. What's up, Mr. David Blackman? 
All I'm gonna do guys is a couple wraps on either side. I'm gonna trim out that tag. And then what I'm gonna do, because I'm using that black thread, you can use any color thread. But if I use black thread, it's gonna create a bit of a thorax appearance because there's a change in color here. So I'm gonna lay down a, a nice little black collar and then I'm gonna whip finish, okay? I'm entertaining them over here. Are you? Good, 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 good. All right, one more whip finish, guys, and this tiny little fly is going to be done. And I hope that you have... Uh, These are the moves they used to get Janine. <laughs> <laughs> I dealt that very much. That is way too much hair. No, the moves, not, not my outfit. <laughs> I know, but your it's hair is moving outfit. too. I used the moves to get her, and then it took her outfit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. There is your Ginny Midge. Um, I do encourage you to try it. Try some different colored mylar too. Try some like gold, red. Um, there's actually rainbow mylar, which I really like for this too. Silver. Give it a go. I don't think they're paying attention to it anymore. Well, over here if dancing. you'd stop dancing, they'd realize that the fly's important. All right, guys. Janine's enough in of trouble. that. Let's get out of this fly because he's got better things to do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, folks. So. Uh, Jenny Midge. It's a Jenny Midge. Well tied. One tie. Two tie. Two material. Three material fly. No, they call me two tie Tim for a reason. <laughs> two, two tie Tim. Does anybody know why we call him two tie Tim? <laughs> I haven't called him that in years <laughs> since we met on the back. Wait, what? Back 40 in my uncle's <laughs> okay. farm. It was a love story for the ages. Oh, man. <laughs> oh stop, Cody found stop. one of the beads. Do we dare ask where? Yeah, I'm guessing on the floor somewhere. All right, somewhere. folks. So um, we're going to do bingo. We don't have a halftime video show. It's just the next because fly is gonna take the next fly hour. is going to push you to the limits. The limits of trust. You might never trust us again. <laughs> Packaging materials for the flies. For you guys. But anyways, if anybody wanted one of these books... It's expensive, but it's there. And that's the best that we could do, given the cost of printing is not cheap. So they're on www.flyvisionbover.com. Same address that's scrolling across the screen. You can buy one of these. Yeah. They're not cheap, and I am not offended if you do not buy one. But if you want one, that is the cost of printing. And the shipping is on us. So it, it says that there's no shipping. So just because I I will ship for free. So just go in there and say pick up. And uh, if you want one, they're, they're there. Flyfishingbover.com slash Thursday Night Live. You can buy one of these books. All 40 patterns. And the recipes. And the recipes. And these are all the patterns that we're tying on Thursday Night Live. So... All the photos, the patterns, some a really cool keepsake in my opinion. Um, but yeah, apparently the cost of bread, milk, and printing has gone up. <laughs> so everything and fuel. Anybody else lose sound? Hit refresh. Hit refresh. Uh, Tim's willing to chug a fly. Ch so what? wait, what? Chug a fly? Yeah. How many flies a have wet you chugged? Fly. <laughs> <laughs> One too many fly highs there, Chug Bud. Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> Things are starting to get <laughs> clear in here. Timmy Two Ties. Okay, so what over. do they need to get their bobbin threaded just so they can do that? Oh, yes. Okay, so next fly, guys. If you want to, you just leave the thread on that you already used. I'm going to use a black. You could use UTC 70 or 40. Both are going to be appropriate and work just fine. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, same color, same size. Uh, yeah. Will we? Me and Tim will sign it. Yes, yeah, all day. Hundred percent. Okay, so we're just checking in with the comments. I think a thirty-four beer flies. Well, that happened <laughs> last year. Uh, Scott, did you get your book? Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, it is good. It is. It is awesome. It's just. It is a really cool pricey. keepsake, but that's the price of. The price is right. I feel like the price is right would be a game show that we would play tonight. Chug a fly. See, look, I confused everybody. So, guys, get your bingo cards. Guys, girls, all the in-betweens. Get your bingo cards. <laughs> all of them. Get them. To play some bingo. I think our uh, sponsors need a pee break. Oh, that's right. One of these sponsors need a pee break. 
Hold tight, guys. Well, Tim <laughs> takes the pee. Get your bingo cards. Print them. Download them. Get them on your phone. Whatever you do, get ready. And there's a twist. I don't want any powders. <laughs> So I didn't turn off. <laughs> I think you guys can still hear him. I'm just gonna turn off Tim's microphone because he's deep in the. Uh, we need some more fog in here. So, anyways, there's a twist to the bingo. We're gonna be giving away some a dry bag from Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. We're gonna be giving away a hundred dollar pack of materials from Shore Fishing. The same bingo cards as last week. To the best of my knowledge going to give away a pack of stickers all that's going to be included tim's back all that's going to be included in the giveaway the bingo flying go water master giveaway and there's also a giveaway which is the uh coffee grinder slash you can make your own dubbing with a leatherman from our friend of the show mr blake teague so you can win a couple ways. But remember, guys, girls, everybody here, the bingo is not what it seems. Okay? We don't want anybody pouting about <laughs> stuff like that. So Nobody likes a powder. Let's head, open up your bingo cards. If you're just new and you don't have a bingo card, it might be too late. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Oh, yeah. Look at this good stuff. All right, the first four calls, as always, are there. So we're looking for four corners. Nothing new. Nothing, <laughs> Nothing new. new. And remember, guys, Tim's got a ride, so feel <laughs> free to make him chug a beer. Share, share, share. At 125 oh, shares. 125 shares? Okay, okay, I'll do it. 125 do it. shares. Tim chugs a beer. Can't see Tim for his microphone, but hey. The suspense will be enthralling tonight, folks. <laughs> Four corners. Remember, if there's a tie, we have a tiebreaker. Yeah. When you win, you say bingo. Enter what call got your bingo and your bingo card number, and then we can throw it up there. Check it out. Do all the good things. The next call is S2. Chug a chug, choo choo. We will chug for you. <laughs> <laughs> Share this to your grandma's knitting page. Oh, Share yeah. this to whatever. We also have a couple stickers going out to what we call the replay squad. Yeah. People who watched the the quick ties or the replay here, and then they, they commented. And that's how you win stickers. You just got to comment. Yes, you do. Chug for the truckers. Well, that's a good point. So the uh, we don't have any winners here at S2. Let's go to uh, Royal Wolf. Chug a beer using a straw. <laughs> I, I wouldn't let him. <laughs> you know what they say, folks. We just can't go too fast. Not too fast. Can't let go too know. fast. I'm going to check here. We need four corners. Mr. Jeff Thompson's in the house. Tying is easier than getting the tippet in the eye on the... Wow, that's that hurts. <laughs> All right, chug, chug, chug. The folks at Rocky Mountain Fly Shop slash Tracks Pub are at Tracks Pub. Two corners. Okay, just waiting. Next call is Shop Vac. Oh. I think one corner. Chug, chug, chug. Here we go. Rock and roll. This is 70s nights, folks, <laughs> on Thursday Night Live Fly Time. This is episode seven. There's only 13 left. Crazy. It is going so fast. Way too fast. So fast. We tie flies. We tell some lies. Lots of lies. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Can we admit it. 
Uh, Clint, I have a line on bingo. Is that the 70s or 80s? Well, we're looking for four corners. And remember, there's a twist tonight. We're going to send some people home. <laughs> yeah, we are. There's going to be uh, some We're going to send some people home. That's okay, though. Or there's not heartbreak. Or there's, no heartbreak. Or there's not. Two fingers crossed. Here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Number eight. Usually we get a winner about now. We have 195 bingo cards out there. 195 people are playing bingo. Or Fly Fishing Academy. The Fly Fishing Academy is brought to you by Fly Fishing Board for Outfitters. You can find the Fly Fishing Academy on your favorite YouTube channel, Fly Fishing Board for Outfitters. I should have sold mobs at the Stampede. Yeah, you should have. Could have. Bingo heartbreak, folks. I'm telling you what, the 70s was full of heartbreak. <laughs> was it, though? Why? Why? I don't know, Tim. I'm just running with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, why is this? Why is this? Where do you order the books again? Uh, so, uh, right on Thursday Night Live, like flyfishingbover.com slash Thursday Night Live, right on that page, I believe I put a link. Maybe I didn't. Didn't. But I put it there, but maybe I didn't. Speaking of heartbreak, and it says the book, buy now, free shipping. There's a black button at the top of that page. Check it out. Uh, free shipping. So, yeah, I know they're they're a bit expensive, but they, they cost, and uh, it's art. It's, yeah, it's a great question. I mean, it is art. It's a great right. statement. <clears throat> Number 10, Sybil Chernobyl. How have we not won yet? We're 10 in. It's going to be like five like, people winning all like, at once. Yeah, it's going to be like, bingo! bingo! We're going to break some hearts tonight, folks. We are going to. That's a fact. I don't want to go too many in advance. Number two, drinking a pineapple rattler. Pineapple Gee. rattler. That sounds oh. good. Yeah. Who Rick makes- Flink, what did number two mean? I don't know. <laughs> no corners. Okay, two of four. Two of four. Three of four. That may be a record. <laughs> ruin me, John wants it. <laughs> I ruin you. Oh, Number eleven, man. Pat's Plus. Guys, you don't want to leave. We're early tonight. It's seven forty-seven, and we're already playing bingo. And we're about to ruin you through bingo and what comes after bingo if you do win. And we're about to ruin you with the next fly and whatever's in your kit. Yeah, just burn it. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan uh, Mast. Yeah. Oh, John's bingo. Oh, nice. John's gotta be got kidding me. It. You gotta be Guys, kidding me. Guys, the kidding me. The heartbreak just goes that we shut the show down and we don't send John anything. Oh, John, he's gonna be so disappointed when he loses. Oh, okay, all right. Well, John's got it. John's got the bingo. John, give us your number one three one. Let's check it out. Make sure. Yeah. That's wow. It's gonna be a first. Only having one person with a bingo. Uh, you just wait. You just wait. <laughs> it's coming. All right, anybody else on Pat's Plus get a bingo? John is 131. All right, folks, we're going to view this card. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Mr. John Honorate. What do we got? What do we got? He got it. Looks like it is. I said, see, ruin me. Can I just say bingo <laughs> just in case? Just in case. Look at this. Good stuff. All, all right, folks, all right. That's what we do for bingo. But wait. But wait. There's more. There's more. I'm going to need you guys to just sit still. Oof. I'm going to need some more smoke. <laughs> because, guys, <laughs> my good friend John Onorati from uh. the East Coast does not know what he's in for. If I can just figure out. Oh, man, Mr. Dave's in the house. He's all the way over in Iraq right now. If I can just figure out this program, (laughs) head over here and say, (laughs) all right, John. You ready? Uh Uh-oh. You know what that means. It's about to get real here on Bingo Overtime. Bingo Overtime. Well, Mr. Onorati, you've got one thing to do, and it's right in front of you. I need you to pick a door behind one of those doors 
It's an absolute and utter failure of a human. <laughs> and they will win no bingo. And there will be no bingo winner tonight. Man. Behind another one of those doors is a winner. Uh-huh. And behind another one of those doors, we'll just have to wait and find out. <laughs> so, John, this music. Tell us <laughs> which, which door. door do you pick? Tell which us, door? John. Oh, he's got John it. Number one. Number one. Oh, 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 I'm nervous <laughs> for him. I'm nervous for him. Well, John, let's first let's find, find out. out what's behind door number two, the door you didn't pick. Oh! Oh, so we know he's not winning. <laughs> he's, he's not he, winning, John. He's not winning. Oh, John's oh, not winning. John, you're not winning tonight. Oh, but let's right, see well. what's behind door number one, John. Oh! Oh, heartbreak. Utter uh, heartbreak. Uh, uh, absolutely crushed. <laughs> John. <laughs> You're so cruel. You're just so cruel. This was the best night of my entire life. Oh, just breaking hopes uh, and dreams. We'll never know what's behind door number three. Because we will not open it. Nope. Can't. For you, my friend John. Heartbreak. It's That's real. terrible. You're, you're so cruel. In a little old place. Couldn't just give him a prize. Called Aspen, no. California. So, folks, just let me know. Is that something you want to see <laughs> more of? Try again next time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh that darn, folks. That Life was mean. is cruel. Life is yeah. cruel. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cruel. Uh, well. I, I told you I know. the 70s was full of heartbreak. And there it is tonight. So it was painful. I did. <laughs> yeah, it was I painful. enjoyed it. I enjoyed every last <laughs> minute of that. <laughs> but, guys, there is still a chance to win. It just requires John, you to dress up yeah, and John, send us a you photo. Can still, you can still win. And there's no tricks on winning. The costume party. There's no doors <laughs> to <sadistic>. pick. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see it again until I win. Then it stops, please. <laughs> oh, oh, I knew it would be good. That's so I mean. Knew, I knew that kind of stuff would just rise you guys up to the top. <laughs> that was really mean. That was yeah. really mean. Okay, so that's kind of what big is going to happen from now on. <laughs> I, uh, I'm John, I, I had nothing to do I with this, John. So, nothing. I feel so <laughs> bad. All right, we got a time oh, fly, folks. Oh man, we're not ready for that. <sighs> uh, fly we? Fisher 54 also had a bingo. We missed it. I did not see that. I didn't see it either. Oh, he's got bingo on 007. 006. 006. We're going to have to put someone else through Oh, this? man. We're going to put someone else through misery? No, he did not have bingo. No. No, I can show you guys. 006. 006? Not four corners. Not to win. Uh, That's okay. Maybe just let me double check because I did go back. <coughs> let me check. Plank camera was not called. Formulator was not called. Uh, Looks like bingo was not called on 006, but... Maybe next time. time. I see what he was doing. He was being sadistic back to us. (sighs) Yeah, I see that. Let's just get some beats going. All right. Well, folks, are we ready? Are we ready to do this? We're ready. <coughs> We're not ready. Okay. Here we go. Here How's Trax Pub's doing? Here How's Trax Pub doing? Everyone getting pizza down there? Oh, dude, you've been watching Bro- Brooklyn Nine Nine. <laughs> 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 oh, guys, if you guys watch Brooklyn Nine Nine, give us a thumbs up in the comments. Oh man, so good, so good. All right, I'll get over to Mother Mike here. Yes, kidding. I'm back. 
<laughs> I got okay, to okay, Tim. You got Dexter. me. You got me. Okay, oh, guys. So. I just, I hope we relive that moment oh, for a long time. <laughs> okay, folks. So let's have a conversation. We're about to tie a fly. Um, called the Pine Squirrel Micro Game Changer. So we're going to be fully transparent and let you know that the materials that you have in your kit are not fully sufficient to do what you need to do, okay? And we only know But remember, this. the techniques are more important than the yeah. end result. We, we're saying that because we feel bad. We're going we're gonna to take you through the techniques needed to tie this fly. Um, the material choice that was given is, is just isn't the right thing, and that's, uh, that's on us. So what I'm going to tell you is, is this. If you have any... Um, I mean, pine squirrel would be great, but if you have any rabbit zonker at all in, in your um, in your fly tying stuff, go ahead and grab it. The material that was uh, provided, we tried something, it just we didn't catch it in time. It just didn't work out. Um, so we do apologize for that. If you need to just hang back and watch this fly get tied, we're gonna learn some techniques that are gonna be pretty cool. But unfortunately, the materials that you got in your kit are just not gonna be. It, it's just not the right stuff. Um, so we're, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you through um, what we're gonna do. You got all the, well, we'll call them the guts. You got the guts of the right materials because you got all your shanks, your hooks, um, as well as, as your, uh, your bead chain, which is gonna be used for eyes. And I'm gonna take you through and show you, because we felt like at the very least we need to show you how this fly should be tied with the proper material. Um, we're gonna take you through um, what you need to do that, okay? So this, this is a bit of a time consuming tie. So stick with me. Um, if you just want to hang back and watch, I'm sure Dana's going to have some comments to try to try to make me fail oh, yeah. miserably because uh, this fly is a bit of a tough one. And somehow it managed to, to work out in the quick ties. If you want to check those out later, that might be a better one than this. But we'll, uh, we'll let you know here when we get going. So in your kit, um, we did provide you with a ton of these shanks, okay? So the shanks that you have in here, you have a whole bunch of varying sizes. I'm tying on the Norvice shank jaw, which is, a, I love tying on this anyways, but this is actually the first time that on the show we're gonna actually tie with uh, the actual shanks um, in the shank jaw. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to use three of them, okay? So we did provide you four plus a hook in various sizes, but I'm gonna go with just three because this is the micro game changer. We gave you another one in case you wanted to do bigger material depending on the material you're tying with you could go with another one but there is a difference when it's a micro we want it to be make want it to be micro which just means it's going to be small you know three to four inches max so i'm going to take the biggest one that you have in your kit i'm setting that aside i'm not going to use that one i'm going to use the three smallest and plus the hook and that's what i'm going to tie this fly with okay so first thing that we're going to do uh, gunner cove welcome mr gunner cove's in the house what the what we're gonna do here guys is I'm gonna show you we're first gonna start off with this very very tiny hook shank okay so I'm gonna stick the part that's got the open kind of bevel or I'm gonna open... back that up or what back it up ba back ba it ba up. Ba ba ba. Uh, let's see let's see you might need to back it up but let's just take a peek here and we'll see, see how this works out first so I'm gonna get this secured in my vise and I need to leave enough of it exposed that I can still work on a little bit of that area because there's not a lot to work with there but I do need a little bit I'm gonna go in with that same UTC um, I'm gonna use a 70 denier at least to start with here <clears throat> in black and so I'm gonna start by closing up that that gap you could go with a 140 here for sure would be just fine as well and I might switch to that as I get up to the bigger material um, what I'm gonna do here guys I'm gonna trim out that tag and then in your kit, you have um, the original pattern we had planned for you guys was going to be an olive. So we had these olive feathers for you to tie it in. The color I'm tying in with this, uh, the material I'm going to be showing you with tonight is the micro pine squirrel zonker in olive. Okay. So this, this stuff here, um, it is olive, but it doesn't really come out looking too olive. So I'm going to, I'm just going to show you where you could get some of these feathers from. It really doesn't matter. Um, this is a, uh, a hen cape or a dry, what some people would call it a uh, soft tackle cape, I think is what this is actually called. And I'm just going to grab three feathers off of it. doesn't really matter which ones. Um, we're just going to use three feathers to, to, to make the tail of this fly. And I'll show you real simply how we do it. It makes it actually look pretty realistic. So I'm going to come onto the feather. I'm going to peel down off the sides. So I got something like that. I'm going to peel just a little bit more. Then I'm going to go up to the tip. I'm going to pull everything back behind the tip. 
This is a pretty good one too, this song. Yeah, it is. That's not bad. Just just pull it back. So Still we'll shook. Look. John can't even tie. <laughs> shook him. Dude, I, I shook him. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. John, well. you better be coming this summer. I owe you a big hug. <laughs> big hug. Okay, he, so guys, I'll He could stay at my of... mom's house too. Oh, he should. Yeah, I know. <laughs> In our bed or? In I our mean, bed, yeah. yeah. <laughs> three of us. Me and two of you. <laughs> me and two of me. I didn't say that I slept in that bed. So guys, all I'm going to do is come in here and trim out that tip. Okay, so what that hold does... Tight, hold tight, hold tight. We got an SOS. Ooh. We got a sauce coming from Joe oh, Manchinton. No. What's up, Joe? What's up, Joe? Let us know. What do you need? This... Yeah. What can we help you with? You just need me to we slow down. We should do that. We should do that real. Yeah. Well, we're going to give you guys a moment because you might need to go grab some material. Um, <laughs> like, and by material, we mean beer. Yeah. And if you... So <laughs> Like we're going to say like this, guys. You didn't like your spaghetti straps yeah. before. At least mine aren't spaghetti. What's for dinner tonight, I, Tim? Uh, spaghetti? Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, please. Oh, you look man. like you're drinking Paps Blue Ribs. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> man, I said, I said, you're drinking Paps Blue Ribbon it's, on the kind of the side of the corner. Uh, I think it's time to lose right. this anyways. You got to get into some cooler right. temperatures. Joe's shanks were stuck together, and he had to get the pliers. Ugh, I see. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh darn. <laughs> oh, folks. Oh, good now folks, you beautiful people. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> I just got to readjust my, my stuff. I got stuff and things. Uh, All right, let's do it. I'm ready. Maybe to if Trish was still around, I'd put on that jacket and watch her cringe. Yeah. Nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with PBR. <laughs> Just seriously. Ugh. If I'm Bob Ross, I'm painting a photo of Pabst on the <laughs> 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 Oh, gosh. Well, I'm feeling nice and cool now. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking <sighs> You know what we're missing? We're missing the Gen Lyle. Oh, the Gen Lyle would be Gen loving Lyle. this. But what I want to do while we're still in the SOS, we're waiting for Joe to release us back. <laughs> oh, Joe, just let us let yes. us go, man. Here's things to take away from this fly. Although we completely screwed up, it was bad. But what we got to take away is the the process at which this fly goes together. So honestly, guys, if you want, just go and grab some dubbing and make some dubbing loops and wrap those up your shank. Any dubbing other than like really fine dry fly dubbing, but dubbing, grab something on your desk and put it in a dubbing loop and you will have yourself a really cool micro game changer. Yeah. Okay. You will. Joe's good. But what I wanted to do quick, just cause, uh, some people are having troubles, uh, fly fishing com slash Thursday night live. It's right here. Okay. And right on the front of Thursday Night Live, where you got your bingo cards, right up here. Season four, fly picture book. Buy now, free shipping. There it is. That's the book. That's the book with some great photos. You just add to cart, available for in-store pickup. Choose in-store pickup. I'll contact you, get your address, and I'll ship that thing up. <sighs> That's where it is, guys. That's where it is. If you can't find it, it's right there. All right, all right, all right. Let's get back to it. Okay, guys, so we were prepping that one feather. Now, of course, I've misplaced it wherever it went. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, so let's let's do that again, because obviously I'm losing my mind. I'm gonna come in here, guys, like we did before. I'm gonna grab that tip, pull it back. And when I trim out that little bit of a triangle there, that's like gonna- my, I'm playing the cans. Oh, I heard it, very, very nice. <laughs> It leaves me with something look like that. Kind of looks like a fish's tail. Okay, so, but instead of tying it so that it curves in, like if you're looking at it, so it curves in like that, we want to flip it around so it curves up or out. And I'm going to do one on the near side of the fly, on the far side of the fly, and on the top side of the fly. So I'm going to do three of them. So that's my first one. I'm going to prep two more real quick. Doesn't take long to do. I'm going to grab the tip, pull it back, trim that out again. I turn off Pull the SOS. I've given Cam a, a stroke. Don't want 
do that. I want to put that on the far side of the fly. Make sure that's good and secure. And you want to keep those similar length. And then I'm going to put the last one in. Prep this one. Pull that down. Oh, uh, wreck that one. Let's grab one more. Do that again. And pull down each side. Expose Bailu, the top of that. Bailu's off to bed. Early start Bailu. tomorrow. I will be part of the replay squad. All right, all right. That's okay, Bailu. Thanks for showing up. There we go. That's the last one. I'm going to tie that again on this one on top. And so it's it's got that shape that's going to curve up. Tie that in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and trim out all those stems that I put in there. Like so. And now is where the fun actually starts, guys. And by fun, I mean difficulty in tying this fly. But it is, uh, it is good. So what we're going to do is we're going to tie um, multiple dubbing loops. So on the first two shanks, we're going to tie them dubbing loops. On the last two pieces, we're just going to wrap the zonker that I have. So I'm going to double this over. So like Dana said, if you got like some semi-seal or some kind of dubbing with longer fiber, you can do it with dubbing just as well. I'm just going to do it with the, with the actual pine squirrel. I'm going to throw a half hitch in here just to save that work and get it out of the way. Now I'm left with this little loop. Okay, so what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to grab my dubbing spinner. I'm going to grab just a little bit of this Wopsy this stuff here, premium dubbing wax. And I'm only really doing this so that once I stick my little bit of zonker in here, it wants to stay and not move around on me. That's really the only purpose that I'm doing with it. Um, so I've got a piece of that zonker here like this. I'm not going to use a very big piece for this first one because I don't need a lot to, to cover up this little bit of tail because this is just the tiniest portion of it. But what I want to do is I kind of want to pull it out so that all of those little bit of fibers uh, poke out and stay kind of out of the way. I'm going to stick it in that dubbing loop so it looks like that. Okay, so it's all, it, all I did was stick it in the dubbing loop. I'm going to try to pull those pieces so it looks like that. And now what I'm going to do is probably the most difficult portion of this is I'm going to go in there and I'm going to try to trim out. I'm going to use my scissors, go in and cut just, just the leather part of this, the base. So the leather piece of the zonker, which is the base piece, I trim that out like that. So I'm left with just the hair in there. Okay, looks like that. And now because this is the very first piece and I'm going to create a taper from the very back of the fly all the way to the front, I need to pull, I'm going to pull those hair or that fur, so it's just a little bit more back, so it doesn't appear as long. And then I'm just going to take this, I'm going to spin it up. Spin, spin, spin. You're going to see that it creates a nice kind of fluffy appearance. Oh, smoke and all. I just keep cranking it. Looks like it. that. <laughs> Told you. Dane, do you mind backing out that camera? Just a little oh, bit sure. Let me. me just get that for you, Tim. Sure. Thanks so much. Tell everyone a joke. <laughs> I don't do it. Kind of turned into the '80s a bit, but that's okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. And then, guys, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to start wrapping this. So as I palmer this forward, starting right at the back where I tied in those feathers, I'm going to pull it back. Every time I wrap it, I'm going to pull that back like so. I'm going to bring this in here. <laughs> I'm going to tie this off. Now that I've got all the way up to the eye of this next shank, make sure that that's good and secure. I'm going to trim that out. And then I'm going to whip finish it. And now we're going to do multiple sections that are basically identical here. This is the only one we're going to tie the feathers in the back. The rest of them we won't do that. But I've uh, I've whip finished that. I'm going to get my thread out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my next shank. Okay, next one. I'm going to put it inside there. So it's like that. And now you can see we've started to get that tail appearance. Okay. It looks pretty darn good already. Now let's get this next piece. Ah, device. John said someone's trying to get to the bar. <laughs> Sounds like words of a loser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Feel so, all of a sudden, I feel self-conscious of my arms. Like I need to flex the whole time, and I can't tie and flex at the same time. How about you just uh, slow down? We got nowhere to go quick. It's 8.09. This will be a record. <laughs> the fastest Thursday Night Live. That's whatever. 
Okay, guys, so the process we're gonna do is just gonna repeat like three or four times. So this next piece, we're gonna also build another dubbing loop, and then the Slow next down. two pieces Slow are down. gonna I be. Got, uh, yeah, they got cams confused. <laughs> this is the quick tie, guys. I know. It's just you. Just you just relax. You just take oh, it easy. I'm relaxed. I'm you as just relaxed as gonna everybody. be. Everybody, make sure you send in your costume photos, <sighs> folks. Yeah. Yeah, we do need to see your costumes, everybody. Yeah, we do. All right. We're gonna take this nice and slow here, guys. First thing I need to do is I need to close up that opening. Okay. Oh, Eric just said, I can't wait to get off work and tie that fly. Well, Eric, like we said earlier, <laughs> see if you can pick up some overtime. <laughs> <laughs> we like to pick some challenging flies to make us really work for it. You should have never packaged this one. No, this is, this is a, a not a good package fly. So all I did was I closed up that opening. <laughs> What's not a terrible idea here, guys, is as you go, just putting some resin um, on this. I, I like to do the same thing. I'm gonna come in here with just a little bit of UV resin. On every single one of these, um, this connection points, it's, it's good to have a little bit of resin on there, cure it, and then we know that that's not gonna open up on us and gonna go anywhere. Okay, we're just taking this nice and easy. But you wanna take it in a way that you're not gonna unravel what your work you've done because this fly is hard enough as it is. So let's make sure that we don't, uh, we don't, we don't uh, ruin anything, okay? Yeah. Are we still SOS and are we good? I'm uh, just gonna, we'll just slow, just take her slow. <laughs> take her what down. we could do is say thanks to our sponsors. We could do that, let's do That's that That's a good quick. point, folks. I'll be right back. You know what we haven't done? What? I don't know. <laughs> the baking cam. That one's a good one today, and we'll show that one when we get back. Get the folks at Tracks Pub a chance to catch up. of time we spend in front of our vices don't you think you deserve a pair of scissors that can make the cut oh, Oh yeah, folks. This is what we've been talking about. It's the horny cream. Oh, look at that. Cream filled horny cream. Chocolate cake. That cream is Goodness horny. gracious. That's what's happening. That's the baking cam, folks. And that is cam. Oh, this is cam. That. That's a beautiful thing that we've tied. That looks awesome. We didn't tie it. We <laughs> baked <laughs> Look at that beautifully tied uh, pastry. Right. Yeah, so that's okay. about how that goes. All right. Well, if you are tying along, hopefully you've caught up. We're going to go into this next one. So all we're going to do here, guys, we're going to create another dubbing loop. Okay. Maybe slightly bigger, but nothing crazy, nothing too big. Take a couple wraps around that loop so we can secure it where it's at. Put a little bit of a thread base down here. I'm going to do another half hitch just to save where that thread's at. And I'm going to come back there once I'm done making this loop. Get that out of the way. Bring my dubbing tool in, or dubbing spinner tool in. Put it in that loop. I'm going to add a little bit of dubbing wax here. Again, just to hold that zonker in place when I'm working with it. Because it is a bit of a miserable thing to work with. And this is going to be the one that I find the hardest. So let's see, let's see if I can figure it out today. On this one, I'm going to yeah. trim it a little Trust shorter. me, guys. The quick tie is done well. Yeah. So, so if this fails miserably, watch the quick ties because it was better. So we need a little bit longer piece this time because we're obviously doing a little bit bigger shank. Not crazy. Not a crazy big shank, but a little bit bigger. So we need a little bit more material. So I'm going to take this guy here. Um, and I'm going to place it inside the dubbing loop like we did the last one. Okay. And now I'm going to try to attempt to get the rest of it in there. Ooh, which worked actually pretty good this time. So the, the key to creating the taper that we're looking for, you can see that's in there now. 
is I want to now on this one especially I don't want to pull it back at all I want to cut as closely to that uh, we're gonna call it the leather for back or for lack of better terms but just the that leather base we want to cut as close to that as we can to try to then maintain the longest material that we can to spin forward in our dubbing loop we're basically guys like if we've done this a lot this year making dubbing loops uh, we've spun a lot of dubbing uh, noodles but this is essentially like if you were laying dubbing down so if you do, if if what you have doesn't work you can simply open up your dubbing loop lay the dubbing inside which will look like this this comes on a uh, strip yeah it's just but it's why when we packaged it we cut it off thinking that would be smarter and it wasn't it yep. wasn't it was but we're we're uh we're it's a work in progress we're trying to get better every time <laughs> so we do apologize for this fly it just first, it just didn't work out the swing in tonight's flies is First fly was three materials. The second fly was 3,000 materials. <laughs> 15 hooks, 75 dummy loops. <laughs> Keep up, would ya? Oh, yeah. Could you prep this in a clip? Yes. <laughs> yeah, could. definitely. That's the other way to do it. Prep it in a clip. It's actually probably easier in a clip. I just don't have it with me tonight. So this is kind of the the poor man's version of it is just sticking it on the zonk or getting it in there and trimming it out. So now that I got this in there, before I lose it, I'm going to spin this stuff, this sucker up. Spin, 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 spin. Do you make dubbing brushes with the Norvice dubbing table? Uh, yeah, I have. <laughs> but it's like... I'll be honest, I prefer to do it as I go. Yeah. So for it's me, true. I it's can true. make a dubbing noodle really quick, especially if I'm doing like something like one of our classic flies called the Danis Leech, which we've tied on the show before. Shut um, your mouth. It doesn't work ever, so never tie one. But besides that, it's... Well, uh, tie them, but don't fish them. Tie them, but don't fish them, yeah. It's, uh, it's super uh. quick. But and you could make them ahead of time on a dubbing, uh, big dubbing. Um, well, I'm blanking here. Does it save like on a dubbing table? Dubbing table, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Does it save you time? I don't think I've it does. I've argued this many times because people are like, "Oh, I made all these brushes." Yeah. But like, that's. I don't know. This is where I think it does save you time is if you're tying like big pike streamers. Big pike streamers, you lay a whole bunch of cool stuff down, or if you're making, for instance. Um, steelhead intruders it does pay to set them out and do them on a table because it's an easier way to doing it all at once you can get like three or four flies out of it out of one strip versus just one because um, you're going to a lot of work to lay those layerings down but on a simple fly like this i just don't see the advantage of it I am judge cherry's out eric's out you, just want to say goodbye judge. to the folks in the back that are leaving yeah. out the back door leaving out the back door so i combed that out just a smidge and so this one guys is going to be longer than the last one it's got longer fiber because I left the tips a little longer. And I'm gonna again stroke that back. I'm gonna kind of wet my fingers and pull back on that every time I go around. And that's gonna encourage all of those fibers to go rearward as I go. Could you use marabou? I, you could. You could actually, Try yeah. It. Try it. Um, really the only limitation here guys is your imagination, to be honest. The only thing you can't use <laughs> is probably what's in your kits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> Okay, so I've secured that off now. I can come in here and I'm going to trim out that thread. That dubbing loop is out. I'm going to pull all that rearward, make sure it's all heading rearward, and put a couple thread wraps down. I don't want to cover up that bulk though, so just right at the head. I'm going to whip finish this real quick. Whip finish that. Let Cam catch up. We'll be here all day. There we go. Gonna trim that out. So that's section number two. So yeah. I only want you to use one more piece. So like I said before, the one I'm leaving out is the super long one. I'm going to use the, the second to largest one now. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna clip that into there. Hopefully that'll go easily for me. Sometimes they're a little tough to get in there. So what I'll do is I'll stick my uh, my scissors inside there and just bend that open up just a smidge. Ew. Uh, ew. Make sure when you're doing that, you're leaning it against your, uh, the, not the sharp side of your hook. Okay, so everybody's got that in. Everybody's held tight. Everybody's at a point of no return. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is I have a 
speed on Tracks Pub. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Somebody call let's it in. Let's see if we got somebody hanging out at Tracks Pub. All right, so that's what Tracks Pubs looks. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> so we can basically see that that's Mr. T Roy. T Roy in the house. We got everybody here at Tracks Pub. Look at oh, this. Yeah, Rocky look at Mountain that. Fly Shop representing. All right, order me a pizza, guys. Looks I'm like, coming uh, down. Looks like Ben's got himself on a wig. Is that Mr. Dickhouse like in the Mr. back? Mr. Dickhouse there? Oh. out hunting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys. Oh, there man. it is. I Who can't wait that? to see you, beautiful humans. Oh, All man. of you. We will be there soon. Mike Stone, if you leave early on me, I'm going to punch you right in the butt. <laughs> the right. B-U-T-T. Straight to the baby All right, maker. that's Tracks Pub, folks. Head back to the C. We're on the big screen. Oh, yeah. Get back to tie on the fly. <laughs> All right. Let's do it, guys. Let's get this done. So it's going to be the last of the shanks before we go to the hook. So I'm going to flip that around, place it back in here like so. I'm going to take my thread again. I'm going to start behind the eye, work my way down. I'm going to close up. There we go. Close that up. So that's kind of the first piece to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to trim that out. Ugh, stuff on my scissors. Trim out your tag there. Get that I out of the way. I got to check what the shares are at. Oh, you should. You guys better not do me dirty. And now what I'm going to do is, this is kind of the fun part because this gets a little simpler now. The first two were kind of hard because we had to build those dubbing loops. Now things are going to fly. So I'm going to grab just a nice long strip of this. Again, guys, you could use rabbit zonker. I tied a few out of rabbit zonker 55 earlier. 55 shares. I think you're safe. I'm safe. Yep. So for instance, guys, this is one tied out of rabbit zonker. A little bit bulkier because it's a little bit more material, um, but easily done with rabbit zonker as well. This, uh, this pine scroll is just a little bit smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in right at the head and I'm going to pull out a little bit of hair. So I've got a little bit of exposed leather that I can tie in. I'm going to tie it in at a bit of an angle. So I want to imagine that I'm going to start wrapping this um, forward. So I tie it kind of at that angle so I can start my polymer forward. Make sure that's good and secured so it's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to wrap my thread forward. I'm going to put a little half hitch in there so it doesn't go anywhere. Bring that over. And now all I'm going to do here, I'm going to moisten my fingers a little bit. So I just lick my fingers. I am going to start palmering this forward. On every wrap, I want the under piece, which is the leather, to touch each other all the way forward. Touch, touch. each touch. other. Touching each other. All the way Touching forward, you're going to keep wrapping. Touching hands. Touching rubber. <laughs> I mean leather. <laughs> Palmering strips. Palmering. So we got a couple techniques we dialed in here. We got, <coughs> we made some kind of like dubbing loops where we learned to put a zonker and cut off the strip part. And now we're palmering strips. So disaster or not, there's so much technique you can take away from this. And that's what's cool about it. Yeah, these are great techniques. Um, dubbing loops aren't aren't super hard, but they're not exactly easy either. But once you kind of master them, you can take them and use them in so many different flies. And uh, if you could, if you can figure out how to do this one, you can figure out anything. Um, so what I've done there, guys, I've palmered that forward. You can see now I'm building a bit of a taper. So I'm super thin at the back, and you wait till I'm done. One more piece, you're gonna see. You're thinking this is going to look terrible. Oh, Tim, this it's, is going to look terrible. It's going to look great. I promise. It's going to look better than your hair. I What? I don't have any. Oh, I know. I know. All I right, know. I'm, getting some, I'm getting some rap on the <laughs> rap on the music. Okay, here we go. I'm going to whip finish this piece. I don't like when I get rapped on the music, Tim. I work hard for my music. You do. It's true. Who is it, Blake? Is he getting on you? No, I don't know if Blake's here. I, I saw him earlier. Blake's here. I saw him earlier. He took one look at his kit. <laughs> So that's the wrap for this guy. So guys, as you can see, look at this. We're building a taper, right? T so Tim, is that a taper? That's a taper. That's a taper. <laughs> look at that. Okay, so last piece of the puzzle is we're going to go over to our hook, okay? Again, micro. We're not tying on a super big hook here. It's probably like a size four maybe. We're going to get that secured in our vise. Now you're going to want to go over and grab any piece of... Um, heavy mono, maybe a little bit of fluoro. I'm personally going to use just some simple 
Um, this is just backing, fly line backing. I'm gonna use a strip of that to attach it. Um, you can see it here. Chaz loves my music. That's why I love Chaz. <laughs> That's why everybody needs a Chaz. Troy ordered a book. We will Did sign he? it for you. Oh uh, yeah, we'll sign it. Heck yeah. Anybody who orders a book, let us know if you want it signed. We would love to do that for you guys. Yeah, we would absolutely love that. Okay, guys. So I dig the tunes. Cody's in. I appreciate yeah. these guys. See, they're gonna get their name mentioned if they love me. Oh yeah. Love me, Troy. Troy <laughs> Tracy. He's cool. Troy he Tracy. loves it. Loves you. He said, "I love you guys." No, he didn't. He said, "I love it." Love it. Love it. Love it. Gel spun. Yeah, that, here's some that gel is spun. that. Dakra. That's from Oman. Yeah, that was from our Oman trip. Okay, one more time. Andy was wondering where to send the picture to. His daughter dressed up oh, tonight, so we want to know where to send it. TNL. TNL at flyfishingbowriver.com. Make sure you email your photos. Yep. So we can pick TNL. a winner. TNL at flyfishingbowriver.com. There's okay. some stiff competition, folks, and I feel like unless I have some better competition roll in <laughs> this fly sucks <laughs> it's true uh, it's true mark you wait though it'll ryan be stubbs loves lamp <laughs> okay let's wrap this thing up we're so close i'm gonna take my thread here i'm gonna work it back down the shank trim that out and work that back into the back bend now all i'm gonna do here guys is i'm gonna grab that doubled over fly line backing or whatever you decided to use. And I don't want this to be very, I'm not even gonna put a bead on it, okay? I, don't, I want it to be fairly close, just basically imitating another shank to, we have to have some way to attach it to the hook. So I'm gonna come in like this. Um, we wanna make sure we get this, at least at the start, we want that um, fly line or whatever we're using to attach it, we want it to be right on top of the hook. I'm gonna start taking some wraps forward. Now what am I going to do with this, I'm going to, uh, if you got like a hair clip or a gator clamp or something, that's what I'm going to use. It works super well at holding that out of the way. I'm going to take some wraps forward, covering up, and now it's okay if it goes somewhere else on the hook just because it doesn't really matter. We just need it at the tie-in point, we need it to look like it's right on top because that's going to hold it where it is. I'm going to fold it back over, start taking some wraps back. Now somewhere in here I'm just going to trim it out to get it out of the way like so and then I'm gonna take a few more wraps back just securing all that down so it's not going anywhere and then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna hold that back portion of the fly and get it secured right down to there okay so from here we're gonna do the last piece of the puzzle okay we're almost there guys stick with me we're gonna grab those um, chain eyes that we have here you could do this with dumbbells um, but that would Claude, we little... didn't sign it. I shipped it out today. Oh, sorry. But sorry, you Claude. come to Tracks Pub, which you have before. And we'll, we'll sign it up for you. So, guys, just like dumbbell eyes, I'm going to put these. Uh, I'm gonna basically going to take wraps on one side and the other, pulling them even. We want it to be like a couple of eye lengths back from the eye, not too far back. We're going to take a few. And then we're going to start doing, once we got it on there, we're going to start doing some figure eights around it. So it kind of looks like this, figure eights, figure eights, figure eights. And then we want to do some that are just around the dumbbells themselves, not even the hook because that pulls all those tight. Then go around the hook to save the work. As long as they're even, they look pretty simple there. No wraps under the backing. No wraps under the backing. Here we go. I like where that's sitting. So then I'm going to come back to here where I, where I tied in that back in the back. I'm gonna go back to that that uh, strip of zonker and I'm gonna finish this fly pretty quick here, guys. I'm gonna pull off a little bit so I got that exposed leather piece again, tied in at that same angle, kind of a bit of a 45 as I wrap forward. Then I'm gonna take my thread all the way up to the front, put a little half hitch in there, save my work as always. If you don't know the half hitch, guys, take the time to learn it. It's super simple, it's just a single overhand knot. Show us, Tim. I'll do it one more time. So all I've done here, guys, I use my fingers, but I just go around once. So I've got a cross. You can see that it's X there. I put that X, I slide it behind the eye of the hook. Now I've just got one loop over the hook, okay? Use my fingers to draw that back and down. Boom. It's just, it's just like a control S, you know? Uh, does, button. <coughs> does everybody bring their gear to tracks? Uh, yeah, they do. They bring their fly Kia tables. 
Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Nudge, nudge. Uh, they bring their vices, their tools. They bring their kits. It's on the big screen. Everybody pulls out their phone and they watch it and comment. And uh, yeah. Yeah. 100%. First Thursday of every month, Trax Bubs Pizza. Pizza night. Pizza. Oh, pizza are you night. getting hungry yet? I am starving That's right now. That's why you're racing. <laughs> <laughs> But Sorry, guys, this is a quick talk because my stomach won't stop rumbling. We've got some really cool things in the store tonight. We still got prizes coming, guys. If you dressed up, send them in. Yep. Okay, let's wrap this up, guys. So just like the last time, I'm going to moisten my fingers a bit. Like no, this. I want to hear that. ASMR. ASMR. I don't have my good mic. <laughs> That's good enough. That's good you enough. win. Okay. okay. So as I wrap forward, guys, I'm just going to stroke those materials back. Don't want my fingers to be super, super wet or moist. I don't want them to be either. But we're going to do touching wraps of that underbody leather all the way forward. Constantly grabbing that material and pulling it back. Grab that material, pull it back. When I get up <laughs> behind the eyes, get behind the eyes. I want to have a nice snug wrap right snug. behind them. And then I'm going to hop right in front of them. I'm not going to try to do anything crazy on top. So I'm going to leave that top area bare. And I'm just going to go over one more time right in front. Okay, so when I when you pull that over, it looks like so. Okay, yeah. and I'm gonna use some thread wraps at the front to actually encourage all those, encourage all that fur to go encourage back. So once I get all the way up to the eye here, all the way up to the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bring this back in. Bring it back in. Damn, I'm gonna go back. in front, behind, oh. behind, in front. <laughs> That's my favorite. And I'm gonna secure that down and trim out the tag, the leftover material. And we are oh, almost boy. done. Why don't you just leave that on? Oh, why'd you cut it off? Just the guy could have had like a sweet, patience, patience, patience. sweet mustache like you. Oh, you oh, know, yeah, it's yeah, complimenting yeah. my mustache. Oh yeah, I'm complimenting that. <laughs> so if I'm that, gonna. If, I'm if gonna, you were at Callaway Park, that would be a five-ticket ride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a hey, sir. I need you to leave right hey, now. Hey, sir. These, uh, there's, there's children here. There's children. <laughs> he must be this tall to ride. <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to take a few thread wraps back, make a little bit of a taper down to the eye, and that's also going to force that material right in front of the eyes back. I'm going to whip finish I'm, it. I'm dancing again for I'm the pose. Again. And you're going to see shortly here how good this fly actually looks when it's done. If you want to throw some resin on there, go ahead. I'm going to I'm gonna throw some resin on because it, I, I did all this hard work. I don't want it to go anywhere. So I'm gonna just put just a little bit of this solar res. There we go, bone right. dry. Tim, your, time, on there. your time on camera is almost done. Almost done, almost done. Okay guys, now, wait a second. I'm gonna put, <laughs> Tim, Tim, <laughs> I'm gonna pull, Tim, this you, just, just don't you, steal the thunder yet. I worked hard on this fly. You Look tie. at this, guys. Look at this. Oh, guys, he wants to show the taper. This is the taper. Tim, Look you at gotta, this. You got to figure taper, out your camera. Taper, taper. Why, why don't we put it in the Tim cam and you can show it? Yes. That is a sexy little fly. That thing is only maybe three and a half, maybe four inches or six inches long, depending on who you ask. If you ask me, it's ten. Oh. <sighs> And this, oh. this is going to fish well, I promise you. You will get short strike after short strike. Whether it's three or four inches long, folks, Tim knows how to wiggle that fly. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Come on now. There, there it is. is. Look, look at, at that, that sexy thing. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. If yours doesn't look this good, that's because we gave you the wrong stuff. <laughs> that's a, <laughs> and that, my friends, is actual factual. Done. Yeah. That is done this, like dinner. This might have been one of the greatest nights of my last this week. Yeah, yeah. This, this week. <laughs> really knocking it out of the park. Gotta get your disco ball going. Your disco this ball's guy. not moving. Oh, it's moving now. Yeah, get that disco ball spinning, Woo. folks. All right. Oh, you pointed the smoke towards me. Well, yeah, I thought you were feeling bad. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it doesn't have a super good odor. <laughs> <laughs> Not one that you would take home to grandma. No. <laughs> you wouldn't take home this odor to grandma. <sighs> so, guys, although mistakes are made, lessons learned, we won't pack this fly anymore because <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was bad. It was a doozy. 
But what you got to understand, Scott Scott says the fly has some girth. Girth. Uh, what it has is movement. It does have Three movement. inches or 12 inches. There we go. We got the room filled with smoke Oof. again. That fly moves. Can you say it with me, guys? Everybody, on the count of three. Three, two, one. Moves. Also, if anybody could type in the comments who won the bingo tonight, I'd love to hear. <laughs> <laughs> but did anybody really win the nobody, bingo Nobody. Nobody did. Nobody did. Nobody. Nobody did. Because what we did tonight, folks, is we played a little bit of a schningang boon. Okay, schningbang boon is a term for tricked you. So uh, look at Doug used the materials in the kit. He made it work. Nice. And uh, he'll post it in the swim swim tank. So 007 ODR DCR. Doug Wood is your Instagram or something like that. So <laughs> yeah, Jacob, I'll tie it on Saturday. Groove it. Well, folks, 70s night, it was a hit. Whew, it was. It was a decade of hits. There was a lot of things. The confusion in the 70s was that the 60s was ending in the disco ball era. The movement from Mary J to the acid became real. <laughs> became real. So people started to tighten up their pants, their shirts, moving into the leather phase of the 80s. Oh, yeah. The 70s often are forgot about. Often. But what's not <laughs> forgot about is the fact that my foot button has a lot of smoke here. Ah, Look at that. Freaking right. That's a lot of smoke. Oh, I love it here, guys. I love you guys. I love here. What we need to do is we need to pick a winner. Ooh, we do. We need to see so some photos. So let me just pop up here. Just do a couple things. Just going to find the w the way to show you guys how we do it here. <laughs> I can't figure it out. Oh, there we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Well, let's head over to this screen called the screen share. <laughs> all right, well, folks, you guys decide what you want to do here. But this was sent in by Craig Jones. Oh, running errands, doing things. This was not tonight, though. So, I mean, it's cool. That it's cool, good. but uh, it's probably not going to be a winner. See, he, see, he was trying to emulate these guys, and I think they were with the Temptations. <laughs> Am I wrong? Yeah. Am I wrong? Very nice. All Very right, nice. this sent in Wyatt. Oh, pretty ooh, solid, pretty good. solid. Looks good. Look pretty at that solid air. there, folks. The uh, hair yeah. looks like it could go through a car wash. <laughs> These are from our friends up in Drayton Valley, Alberta. Nice. Corey. And oh, Juanita. look at that. That is a suit right there. <laughs> and so, like, the email says it might be kind of the 60s, which I talked about. Was that the 60s or was that the 70s? Nobody knows. To be determined. They and then we jump into Mike McKenna. In Texas, wearing the Bengals, the, oh, the old 70s one. helmet. Look at that. That's a legendary helmet. But with all due respect to everybody who played along, i got to find a better song because this one sucks. Yeah, there we go. What I truly believe was the winning thing because it was a team effort with COVID isolation all week long. And it couldn't stop these two from performing. Oh, there it is, folks. I think, and Tim, you could tell me if you don't agree, but that. Oh, look at that. That has <laughs> to be. <laughs> I don't know That's which gang awesome. those two are in, but I don't want to mess with them. No way, Jose. I do not want to mess with that gang, so. Look at that crew. Anyways. I think right there, Mr. Dickow, the Dick boys, Alex Landon Rackets. and Lucas. Look at that. The 70s Dickows. That looks very good. I think Barry remembers the 70s. He was 70 in the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> we love look, you, Barry. At least 40. All right. All right, folks. It's simple. It's easy. That's how we do it here. We don't spend a lot of time for everybody who sent in the submission. There's a lot of prizes to be given away, so 
No, yeah. just hold tight. Hold tight, folks. We have another entrance. Oh, let's check it out. We have another entry. Ooh, this one is. here is from Andy Grenier. Very this good. one here, again, this is a great costume. But it might be in the 60s. We don't oh, know. So hard. We don't they, know. They kind of melded together there. I know. The I'm trying to figure it out. And it was confusing trying to figure out what the costume to wear would be. So I went into Janine's closet <laughs> and I found this. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's great. That's a great costume. And I think that's actually making a comeback. I think it is. It is. It really is. Yeah. That's that's Peace. fantastic. What's, what's cool is the moose. <laughs> I like the moose too, yeah. And, and we're in the, in the background. You're in the background. I'm in the background. That's Look awesome. That. that dates it legit. Legit. Andy, Very good. that's cool. Thanks for sending that in. All right, folks. Back to you guys in the comments. All right. 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 Winner, winner. We got the boys. We got Landon and Lucas for the win. For the win. Sweet Lord. Janine Deanna is back in the house. The 70s started in the 60s for me. Well, John would know, and we don't know. I I was there for a month and two, two and a half months I spent in the 70s. And I can so tell you what, guys, I didn't wear this. Nope. None you of the wore above. a onesie, maybe. I probably didn't wear anything, Tim. <laughs> Not a lot. But Not a what lot. we need to finish with tonight is the best part of the night. If you're new here, this is is why you came. When I said at the start of the show, oh, randomly you showed up and you tuned into this weird show. This is why you're here. Because we have something really cool for you guys that brings us closer together as friends, as family, and hopefully inspires you mm, to have a part. little bit of a better week ahead of you. Because there's a lot of real sagas in the world today there is that there but is that most importantly we're here for the wins what are the wins w-i-n hmm. what's important now so share share this week folks we encouraged you last week at the end of the show to go out there and make somebody's week a little better to be somebody's reason to smile and I would like to know here in the comments, please do share with us what made your week special? What was cool <laughs> about your week? And so we always start off this uh, last segment of the show by sharing with you guys what made our week special. And then we'll look to you guys and we'll share your wins for the week. So, Tim, away we go. Lead it off. All right. Well, guys, my win this week is uh, it's a simple one, actually. You know, uh, <clears throat> both my girls at home have been sick for, well, man, it seems like a week and a half now. And it's kind of a bittersweet thing because I get lots of time with them at home, which is selfishly nice for me. Um, but then today, Ren was feeling good enough. We got to get out on the ice for a few hours, although the fishing sucked. Um, it was awesome to just hang out with her and to have, you know, a little bit of that time. And, you know, it's, it's hard, but for her, she spends a lot of her life outside. So when she gets the opportunity to after being, you know, cooped up for a while, she's just super inspired to be outside and super happy and seeing her smile. Um, sometimes it really is the little things, although she, you know, isn't feeling the best still. It's just, it's encouraging to get her out and do something. Um, so for me, that's, it's a simple win to this week, but uh, it, was, it was really good. Good day, good morning, and then to the getting to come here and know that we have an awesome show ahead was a, a great finish to my week. Um, this just feels like my Friday, you know? It's perfect. I know. It really does. Yeah, it does. Because tomorrow will be a recovery day. So <laughs> a recovery my day. My wins this week, and I've shared them often, and what I like about it, because I don't feel it's redundant, because I feel like the more that I get to go out and explore and climb mountains and do crazy stuff like that, that it inspires me to do more. And this past weekend, uh, we went back out to another one. This one was, it's a very popular place for a lot of people to go. Uh, doesn't mean it's an easy place for people to go, but it's a popular mountain. And I 
was nervous to kind of bring Janine on a, if you know anything about kind of climbing, it's called scrambling. So once you get out of the trees and the, and kind of like an easier path, you got to navigate your way up through loose shale and rocks and it's called scrambling. Sometimes you're on all fours. And so I was worried about bringing her along on this journey because if something happened, I would feel really crappy. And so we decided Sunday was a good day. The weather was good. Let's go out and tackle High Ling. And so we did. We went out there. We did it. Uh, I battled these damn shin splints for, <laughs> for an hour and a half. Uh, but what inspired me through that is they were horrible. But Janine was like absolutely destroying this trail. And I couldn't even see her for half the day because she said, I can't stop for you. I get cold. So I just kind of had to suck it up and say, you go and I'll catch up. Trust me, I'll figure these, I'll either cut these <laughs> muscles <off>. out, <laughs> uh, I'll get up there. But at, at about halfway up, uh, things started feeling better and we went and then uh, we went and we got into the scramble section, which is really scary if you've never done it before. Uh, to a new person, that's really frightening, uh, just what you're climbing on. And uh, there was a point, the weather got bad and really cold and it gets windy. And I think we hit around minus 25 with the wind chill. And uh, Janine just stopped and broke down and was like, I can't go anymore. This is, this is, this is, this is crazy. And I said, well, what I do, what I do know is that safely together, we can get to the top. It's not quite at a dangerous state yet. So let's go together. And yeah, so I just kind of talked it through. Long story short, we got to the top and I said, if you don't go to the top, you're going to forever regret this moment because we're so close that we can taste it. And we got to the top and she fell down and, and just broke down. And, and if you've never done it, you don't quite understand. And that might sound weird, but there's something really cool about reaching the top and it's about battling this mind. Um, thing going on, which is kind of what's fun about climbing. So my win was spending the day with Aaron and Janine. So weird to say that because that's her ex's name. <laughs> Whoopsies. Novland and Janine. It's a Novland, yeah. Going to the top of a mountain. So that's mine. That's ours. Mine and Tim's. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll back up. Check out yours. Mr. Mark Holcomb. <clears throat> It's finally getting to tie along with all of you. Been a hell of a cup last couple of weeks, months. Things are coming down, and here we go. Yeah. Mr. F Mr. Flink says, My win was my 49 year old son was sick, but what, what wasn't COVID, he's already had it twice. Well, that's good, it's not COVID. Matt's win was tying his boy, tying his first fly this week with me the zebra midge and the nuke eggs. Oh, nice. Chaz, my win is having an epic weekend last weekend. Went out on the hard water with my boy Biggs and had a great time. Then, he, then the next day, spent the day outside with uh, around the fire with the goalie. Amazing recharging time. Yeah, we all need that. Cole's win is officially house poor for the first time. Excited <laughs> to make some great memories in our first house. Enjoying some cold beer tracks with some great people. And we will be there soon, folks. Do yeah. not leave. I'll never talk to you again. <laughs> Mr. Doug Lindsay. My win for the week was seeing the truckers and farmers stand up for our freedom, hoping it continues south of the Canadian border. We support you. That's absolutely cool. Yeah. It's so cool seeing people make a stand. Talked about it last week. The the patriotism, the Yeah. yeah. And they're still there. And they're like, We're not leaving until things until we get our Canadian ship back. Yeah. And uh Gunner finished building a fly rod. That's awesome. Michelle, my win for the week is how extremely proud I am of my sis Tammy and growing law Colin for making one of their dreams to become reality and opening their first storefront for Rocky Mountain Fly Shop. And I got to see it today. It's awesome. Congratulations, you guys. They have their first storefront here in Olds, and we know you guys are going to be successful. And we hope all of you guys go and help and support them in this journey. Fly Trout, win for the week was being able to get out and fish the river with a new friend met through TNL. Family for real. 
I'm going to let you read that next one. <laughs> <laughs> Janine's making it to the top of Highling with you and Aaron. We did it, babe. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> so it's so ironic and weird and amazing how a day on the mountain just floods your brain with life lessons, <clears throat> which we can talk about for years to come. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Joel Sather, got to meet up with a friend I haven't seen in some time while in Denver on business. Always make time for friends and family. You will not regret it. OQP. OQP. Yeah, Only quality people. Yeah. Alexander, my wind is driving from Montreal to encourage the truckers after work two days ago. Positive vibes only there. Despite some narratives being pushed by you know who, let's stay positive and spread the love. Thanks, boys. And that's cool because out west we get pushed against the east and they try to cause us to conflict. No. We're Canadians and that's yeah. what's super cool about this. Mike McKenna, my win was anonymously picking up the check for a man's dinner who was eating oh, alone at a good. restaurant. Feels good to pay uh, it forward. Yeah, it does. It's like we like uh, Joel said it here, O Q P and it's that there it is. Yeah, only Legit. quality people. The quality people who see the other people, for whatever reason, Mike felt led to do this. And that's super cool because there is a ripple effect yeah, there that is. happens. My win is Wyatt willing to dress up for theme nights. Yes, that is super <laughs> cool. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Mr. Beatty, my win results of my daughter's MRI show. No surgery necessary. That's awesome. My <laughs> win is the great honking. Saw tons of smiling faces this past weekend being a part of the fringe minority. Oh, yeah. Mr. Justin Fisher, my win. My dog had to go in for surgery on Monday. Super scary moment, but he made it through and recovering well. Truly a man's best friend. So happy he is okay. He always brings me happiness. Always getting up to tracks. Also getting up to tracks and seeing the crew. And we'll see you in a few minutes, bud. Yeah. Charlie, my win for the week is how sick all of us in the house felt all week, but the boys getting ready for tonight's show, you wouldn't know they didn't feel well at all. Also, the extra time we all got to spend together tying all the rest of our flies from this season that we didn't finish with help from the TNL Quick Tie Squad, the Replay <laughs> Squad. <laughs> Mr. Ellison, when my girls got their second dose today, had the vid a couple weeks ago and in two weeks we were off to disney world first trip for them in two years plus thanks for the great night yeah uh, yeah yeah oh my grandmother got over the china virus safely and booked a trip to the keys in three weeks lucky nice. <laughs> mr hillberry taxidermy andy my win is strange because if this crazy world we live in during these strange times few of my real cool close friends are having a whiskey mental health night while watching uh. TNL with two super cool dudes, Tim and Dana. Ramley, friends, fishing, freedom. You guys are great. Mental health break. Uh, that's awesome, dude. Glad you're getting to spend some time. All about, folks. Yeah. You guys here, the TNL fam, the wins, Le sharing some laughs, sharing some ridiculousness, um, botched flies, some <laughs> successful ties. And uh, that's what we do here. We spend a couple hours on Thursday nights and we got about 13 episodes left. We got some yeah. more theme nights. We don't Great. always dress like this. And uh, we're just going to wait here and see if a couple more wins pop through. But if they don't, I'm going to pee my pants. Oh, me too. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> uh, Chris Nelson, good night, my friend. Good night, man. Everybody here in the TNL fam. Yeah. Thank you for an awesome, yeah, awesome we love night, you guys. guys. We love you guys so much more after spending a night like this where we can make fun of ourselves <laughs> and you. And yeah. uh, anybody know, did anybody win bingo tonight? Oh, that was oh, good. That was a John. That was good. I think he had missed out. If you guys love that, give me a thumbs up because I'll <laughs> do that every <laughs> single Just week. Pure heartbreak. All it does, guys, is save up some prizes for the final episode. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Thompson, uh, if you're still in old, head down to Tracks Pub. Yeah. Be good to catch up, brother. Win, winning, also win, being here. Yeah. There yeah. we go, fellas. Peace right. out, family. We're not perfect. We tie flies subpar, sometimes <laughs> super par, 
sometimes. Super par. par. But what we do here is we have fun. We're a family. It's TNL fam. We love each other. We are full of gratitude for you guys and the support that we could sit here and do weird things like this. But most importantly tonight, I can't wait to take a pee and go see the family yeah. at Trax Pub. Heck yeah. Trax we'll Pub, we're here. coming for you. <laughs> Warm up a seat. Grab me a nice cold jug of or glass or whatever. Not Barry. He doesn't drink the stuff I like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All love right, you guys. guys. Love you all. See, see, ya. see you next week. In about five minutes, Tracks Pub. <laughs> I can feel my body yep. cold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me. Look can be deceiving. Let you get the best of me. In bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me Stop it, stop.